hello and welcome to my channel so today i thought i would show you guys a flip through of the brave writer literature single um for charlotte's web it's specific for the level of dart so it's charlotte's web dart literature single that i'm going to be showing you today so this is something that we have um this is something that's new for us incorporating with our language arts program we do the good and the beautiful for language arts and I wanted something a little more for writing. So I am trying out Brave Writer. This is something that I thought would be really helpful for those who are researching writing programs, more specifically Brave Writer. It's always nice to be able to look inside of whatever it is that you're purchasing. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look inside. If you find this video to be helpful or you just, you know, you enjoy this type of content, then please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to hit the red subscribe button as well for more content surrounding homeschool, motherhood, and healthy living. So two things, I keep mine in a binder um, for organization and I do not print the, I didn't print in color. If you're like me, you try to save that for like things that actually do need to be printed in color because they have pictures or whatever um this isn't one of those things it's literally just um words so um let me go ahead and take you guys through so you can have a look at um the inside so this is just the quick start guide so they do let you know to read the guidelines before you even dig into this this is what the guidelines look like and I highly recommend going through the entire thing. Um, for me, I found it to be very, very helpful with not just the layout of the guide, but also with detailing um, ideas for how you could um, do things like copy work, like set it up to be something special, um, just little information as it pertains to what's included in the dark guide. So for instance, uh, this page in particular, I found to be the most helpful because it breaks down um, what the spin and spiral is, the four passages, literary device, uh, writing activity, big juicy questions, book party, book club party ideas, if that's your thing, um, the copywork passage pages. So it tells you everything that's in the dart itself, but then it also kind of breaks down um, a little bit more information throughout about each of those sections so it is very helpful to have this so i definitely recommend if brave writer is new to you to print this out as well so just to give you a glimpse so it starts with the spin and spiral and then it goes into the weekly breakdown so this is a four-week study so week one you have the passage of study and then we have the why for this passage and big juicy questions here and then this is where you will find a list of things to note throughout. So for me, these explanations were simple enough for me to just kind of read these to my son. Plus, um, this wasn't the first time that he was exposed to some of this information. So you can go through this and then flip over here and you will find the highlight for the week and it breaks down the copy work and spelling. And then this, I really appreciated that they did this. You can, of course, just print the page from the book or you can just have your child copy it straight from the book. But they chose to actually include a single page with just the passage that's for copy work for each of the weeks. And I did find that to be really helpful. And then it breaks down how to teach the passage. And for the spotlight here, we have punctuation. So then it breaks down... Um, like I said, their, their little information um, sections are very uh, straight and to the point. It's not information overload. So I just read them as they are in here. And some more punctuation. And then for activity, um, for the activity page, they tell you little things that you can do for practice. So you can have the child practice, you know, writing rows of commas and question marks, apostrophes and um, running a highlighter over all the capital letters and things like that. And this is just another part of the activity. And then we're into the next week. So here's another what to note. And as you see, it's the same deal for each week. 
and then here you'll notice the dictation um or the copywork style the dictation is changed up for this week so we did french style dictation for this week and then the spotlight changes as well so this one was grammar and we were talking about synonyms and then here's the activity and we're moving into the third week and then here we're talking about things like onomatopoeia and then this is a new highlight for the week and then a new spotlight so we're talking about grammar and specifically articles And then on to the last week, which is week four. And as you can see, so I do want to point out, they do give you a list of like big juicy questions to ask. And this little section here doesn't include those very questions, but this is more so like a reminder to, um, to use the big juicy questions that came with it. So another what to note, the highlight for the week, another how to teach the passage. And then here it prompts you to do a spotlight review. So all of those spotlights you saw like um, for grammar and punctuation, this is just prompting you to review those things. And then into the literary device, um, which is alliteration and then this was included as well so this is the a writing activity where they can create their own alliteration and I made copies of this stuff so um, my son could do it without me having to use what I had in here because I want to be able to show you guys, show you guys a clean sheet and book club party ideas And little ideas for setting up like a Zuckerman's farm and a pig slop, um, building a whale barnyard, games. And then this is actually the rest of the copy work uh, sheets in here. So this is week two, week three, and this is reverse dictation. So week four, and then this is the copy work. And then this is a an extra note sheet that came with it extra note sheet and that's it oh and then here are the big juicy questions and i put these in the back just so i didn't have to flip through everything during the week and it, it was just you know here very last page so that is the inside of the actual dart and i do want to point this out as well um so i need to go through and fill hours out because we did just finish but this is the dart skills tracker. So you can actually track um, what topics you touched on with your child. I think this is very helpful. So you can uh, mark it as something you're saving for later, something they are learning and something that they, they actually do have down. So, um, and then you can fill in with other skills that you may have touched on throughout the, the packet um, as well. So they have that. And then they also have where you can do like a prep. It's like a prep sheet for um, your week with using a dart. It was helpful to kind of, because like I said, dart was, this is something that's new for us. So it did help me to kind of get down like, or get an idea of what the weekly flow can look like with using this. I do want to note that this is used as a weekly and monthly checklist as well. So I wanted to point that out as well. And that these two sheets are included in the dark guidelines that you get um, that they mentioned in the beginning of the actual dart itself. 